Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to pull some cards for you guys and we're going to see what messages the universe has for you. We're going to see what's going on with your person, what they're feeling and thinking, and what energy they could be bringing towards you. Oh, did you see that card just flip in a damn circle? Okay. <laughs> so the universe is saying you're halfway there. The wheel is turning, so you have the wheel of fortune. Follow the flow of events. So the universe is saying you don't need to do anything. Whatever's coming towards you is fated. It's destined. It's meant to happen. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? All right. So we have family issues, manipulation. We have Gemini energy here. And we also have the fifth house. So the fifth house is ruled by Leo. So some of you may be dealing with a Leo or a Gemini. And you may feel like this person is manipulating you. We have gaslighting, mind games being played to get what they want. Oh, okay. We have unfazed only you. I feel like someone still wants your attention. They are completely devoted to you or will be. No one can steal your place no matter what happens. So no matter what happens in this situation, no one is going to be able to steal your place here in this person's heart. But I feel like this is someone who was unfazed by the situation at some point. We have, I'm unfazed by our separation. We have heart to get, rejection, not settling for less. And we also have stagnant. So there's something here that's not moving forward right now. We also have blocked community, blocked community, <laughs> block communication where did that word come from block communication and anger issues so this could be someone that you're dealing with where you have a conversation with this person and they just fly off the handle okay you know they start cursing or start yelling and you're like well hold up we're just talking we're just having a conversation all right so we have not able to speak to you block number oh so you block someone either you block this person or they blocked you if this person blocked you, they're afraid to reach out to you now. I feel like they unblocked you and now they're afraid to talk because they feel like you're mad. Yeah, this is someone where you guys may have gotten into an argument with this person. We have calling you names, cursing, out of control. They have a short fuse. They blow up easily. All right. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? Oh, we have Scorpio energy here. So there's a Scorpio that's lonely, that's wanting your attention. Yeah, so I'm picking up the energy that someone possibly went back to an ex and now they want your attention. There's lessons that this person needed to learn. So if there was a breakup here, it was um, via the universe. The universe had a lot to do with it because the situation was blocked for your highest good at one point or still is. But someone is lonely here. We have feeling lost without you, isolating themselves. They're in hermit mode, but they may be trying to make you feel like they don't care. Spare, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Yep, told you. I, I said somebody probably ghosted you or went back to someone else, and then we have back with the next. All right. We have the moon card. This card just flipped in the circle. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces or this person is keeping something hidden from you. It's like they're going to come back towards you in Taurus season. I don't know if you're going to hear from this person. Um, we have slowly over a period of time, things will move forward, but you feel like this is risky. Take the risk or lose the chance. That is the question. So you may be feeling like, I don't know if I want this person back. Some of you have children with this person. And it may anger you just to think that you wanted to be done with this situation, but you feel like you never will be because you always have to see them. I feel like some of you wanted to just erase this person out of your mind. You know, um, you didn't want to see them, hear from them or anything. Because we have resentment, mistreated and being triggered. So I feel like you're triggered by this person's energy, their communication, like them trying to even reach out to you after what they did or after what they said. But some of you are not going to be able to um, not see this person, especially if you have a child by them. We have using child as a pawn, staying for the kids. So they may try to use the child against, I mean, use the child to, you know, be able to see you or something like that. 
Oh, so the universe is saying surrender and go with the flow. Let fate take its course. So the universe is helping you out with this. The universe is saying you don't have to take action. Just whatever's happening here, just let it happen. Okay, because it's going to work out in your favor because you did have the Wheel of Fortune come out for you. And that was the first card here. You've had enough of this person. You don't trust them. You're like, I don't know. I feel like you're going to talk to this person again. This is someone who has a negative mindset. Trapped in a bad environment. I feel like whoever this is, they may be trapped in a bad environment and it's still like they they take it out on you when you talk to them. We have toxic habits. They can't escape. Street mentality. Bad influences around them. Toxic habits. They may have toxic friends that are around them or family members. And you may be trying to help this person get their life together and they just go in a different direction. But they still want to be with you and you're like, heck no. I don't think so. We have deep regrets thinking of you heavily. This person may be facing some karma too they, because they made some poor decisions. Having some, I mean, this person may be experiencing some karma because they made some poor decisions um, concerning you. Yeah, they're going over old situations in their head or something that they did to you. And they have a negative mindset. They may feel like you're not going to take them back. Somebody here is reaching rock bottom too, or they're at rock bottom. And they may feel like when they were with you, it wasn't that way. But they went towards someone else and things just fell apart from them for them. All right. So we have, yep, they will call. We have legal issues. Someone may be locked up here, but they don't want to let go of you. You may be hearing from this person. Um, if they're locked up, they may be trying to tell you that they still love you. Um, they may be telling you about their situation. This person could have a felony or they could have a case that's pending. This is somebody who can't stay out of trouble for some of you. And you're like, okay, I don't have time for that. Like I'm too grown, you know, to be dealing with things like that. We have intense emotions about you, obsessive thoughts. This is somebody who's in love with you. They're going to be calling and reaching out to you. You may be rejecting this person. You may not want to hear from them. But they're stalking you or thinking about you or looking in to your social media to see what you have going on. We have be bold and speak your mind, Sagittarius. Expect to receive a message or a phone call. Message, phone call, communication, conversations is all up and through this reading. So you're definitely going to hear from this person. For some of you, it's going to be in Taurus season, which is in May. We have it's not too late. We also have toxic relationship. Look at this. Somebody's going to call you love bombing you, telling you how much they love you, how much they miss you. They're sorry. Whatever happened between the two of you, they're going to be realizing that things were toxic and it was their fault. Yeah, the universe is saying, be slow to act. Take your time and choose wisely. But this is some sort of unexpected message that's coming. You don't even see this coming. Well, now you do. But I feel like before you thought maybe you would never hear from this person again. All right, so let's get a couple more. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Oh, you're fed up with this person, though. I don't feel like you even want to talk to this person. You cut the cord. There was too much conflict. Some of you, you were dealing with someone who was living above their means. They were in debt, trying to look the part, fake designer clothes. They had mortgage um, debt that they hadn't paid off. They had a shopping addiction or something like that, bad spending habits. And there was a lot of conflict between you and whoever this is, possibly arguing all the time, just not seeing eye to eye because I feel like you were in love with this person. They were in love with you, but you guys were two totally different people, like, how you live life so you may have cut this person off or you're thinking about cutting them off you're trying to move pull away from them but you may feel like it's not easy but you're fed up with this person's um actions here we have very last minute a choice will be made take a leap of faith into the unknown so some of you may decide to walk away from this sagittarius you know i don't feel like you want oh that card almost slipped on the floor all right, so we have third house, Gemini. Communication, again, the mind, thoughts, that you're on this person's mind. 
a lot. You know what? I feel like this person is getting some karma and the universe is sort of forcing them to think about you. They're forcing them to like replay things that happened so they can understand. It's part of their lesson. This is what I'm seeing here because I feel like at one point they were like this. They didn't care. It says I'm unfazed by my separation. I'm unfazed by our separation since I wasn't emotionally invested. And I feel like what's making this person want you now is because the universe is making them face something that happened here. Besides getting this karma, the universe is sort of like, you know, you're getting you're going to get your karma back and then I'm going to make you think about everything that has happened, everything that you did or said. But I feel like it's going to make them a better person, but it may be too late on your end because you may not want them anymore. You may be like, no, this person's too toxic. You know, they didn't have their life in order. They were always going downhill. I feel like you were always trying to pull this person up to your level. And they possibly were trying to drag you down. And if not... You may have thought they were going to drag you down. So you were like, you know what? I have to cut ties with this person before I wind up like them. But this is someone who's wanting to reconcile. They're going to want to stay in your life. This is not done with you. Communication, coming in, coming back to fight for you. Afraid of your rejection. So if you haven't heard from this person yet, just expect some sort of communication from whoever this is. But God, I feel like at one point, this person was noncommittal. We have three months from now unhappy marriage and we also have paralyzed yeah this person may be having some financial troubles especially if this is someone who has a court case pending they may be paying a lot of money for a lawyer or maybe for a divorce because we have unhappy marriage here and paralyzed paralyzed by love holding back fear of falling in love i feel like whatever you went through with this person is sort of making you not want to deal with anyone right now for some of you take it how it resonates it's not going to be everyone's story but if you're resonating with this for some of you you're like you know what i don't even want to love anyone again even if you're in another connection because you feel like something worked out really bad i mean something worked out something happened really bad with this person that did not work out but you're going to find out about it. I don't know how you're going to feel. Like some people, when they hear from someone that treated them bad, it sort of makes them feel good because they just like, I want to know that you realize what you put me through. And some people don't care. They're like, oh, I don't care if you realize it or not. Just don't talk to me anymore. Just leave me alone. But someone is going to come back and let you know that you were a good person to them and that now they're suffering from walking away from you. Or their life is like turned upside down and that they should have just stayed with you. We have um, three months from now, something will be expressed. What's hidden will come to light. So I feel like you don't even know that this person is going through all of this. All right, let's get some tarot. I'm going to make some room here. I was going to leave these out, but I'm not going to have enough space. Spare, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Someone who went back to an ex or ghosted you or whatever they did, wanted to play around, is now receiving some bad karma. They're going through a lot in their life, and I feel like they're going to come back and tell you about it. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Empress. So some of you may be dealing with the Taurus. this person is looking at you like you have it all they should have just stayed and now they're wondering should i even reach out to sagittarius because sagittarius is sitting on their throne they're doing really well in life they have everything they need they're not struggling i'm struggling with the two of pentacles this is someone who may be wondering if you're going to help them out because this looks like someone who's in trouble like they have money issues and they see you doing really well yep look at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of wands here okay so we have the hangman and the magician we have a lot of major arcanas here coming out there's going to be some conflict or there was some conflict 
between you and this person. You and them may get into an argument because you may feel like this person is being um, manipulative, sneaky, they're a trickster with the magician reverse. Something's not going to manifest the way this person think it is. They think that they can just come back to you and talk to you, but you're not the same person. Like you've changed or however you felt about them, you may not even feel the same. And even if you do, you're not going to let them know it. They're not going to have the same... Whatever you guys' connection was like in the past when you were together, it's like it's not going to be the same. The energy is not going to be the same. So maybe this is why this person is reluctant to even reach out to you, Sagittarius. They're afraid to reach out. Okay, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Oh, yeah. Um, we have the justice in reverse. Libra energy or someone does have some court issues here. And with this ten of pentacles reverse, they need money or they're struggling really bad. We have the hermit. So it could be a Virgo. Or Libra. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this could be your energy or you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Or this is the person that's coming back in. If this is your energy, I feel like you were very loving and very giving to this person. And they're missing it. They're realizing that no one else is going to do this for them. Like, no one is going to treat them like you did. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups, and we also have the Lovers. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, or there's a Gemini that's coming back that's going to try to offer you something. They're going to try to make up for lost time, not knowing that you may not want to be bothered with them. We have Capricorn energy here. For some of you, this is your twin flame that you're dealing with. Because we have the Devil, the Lovers, and the Knight of Cups. Be a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's a twin flame for you. Or a um, Gemini or a Capricorn. I don't know why I'm seeing. What I'm seeing here. What am I seeing? All right, let's see. Let's get the next card here. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups. The lovers and the devil. This person still is a this person still has an atta a strong attachment to you. They're sort of obsessed with the situation, or they're obsessed with their thoughts about you. Wondering if you guys can make something work if they come back and apologize with the five of cups. I feel like this is someone who's like, you know what, I'm not over Sagittarius, but I know I treated them wrong. I still love them. I still care about them. But, I, you know, it's like whatever they're going through, it's like it's making them sort of like think and open up and just go down memory lane about, you know, everything concerning this connection. Be a fire sign, another fire sign here who's being sneaky. Walk, walked away from this connection that's now wanting a new beginning with you with the Ace of Cups, Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who's going to try to sneak back in your life thinking like you don't know what's going on with them. This may be someone who may not even tell you about their legal troubles, especially if they're not locked up yet. Like if they haven't gone to prison yet or going to jail yet, they may not tell you. They may wait till it happens, especially if it's like if they have like a date or something that they're going in because I'm, I'm like focused on this justice card here. I just feel like this person, they may come back and tell you after the fact. Sagittarius, I don't know what this is. For some of you, this is... Um, you may already know that this person has like some sort of pending court case here. All right, let's see what else comes out. So what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? If this is not about this person actually going to jail, this could be about a divorce. 
they may be getting a divorce and there is a custody case pending um, for child support or something like that. And they may tell you about it. You're going to be very guarded when you talk to this person. They're healing. They're trying to heal and come back towards you. But I feel like all you're going to do is remember what this person did to you. And you're going to be very standoffish with the seven of wands. And it could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that you were dealing with here. It's now they're wanting an equal give and take. You're going to be like, oh, now, you know, you want to have something with me. After I've healed, after I've been alone or moved away from you and tried to get over you. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune again. So this person is definitely coming in here with the Eight of Pentacles. This person may um, maybe work. They may have found a job, especially if this was someone who didn't work. They may be telling you that they found a job and that they work a lot now. They're trying to get themselves together. But I just feel like there's something triggering about this situation for you where this person may have really hurt you. I didn't see the Three of Swords. But someone really hurt you really bad here. And I feel like they're going to come back and try to talk to you about it. And you're just going to be like the seven of wands here. Could be a king of pentacles, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, who may be telling you like, oh, yeah, I got a job now. You know, I got a good job. And I don't know. I just feel like it may not matter. It may be like, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice that you're working now and you have a job and you're trying to get yourself together but I'm over you. I was able to move forward with a lot of work and a lot of healing. And I feel like this is someone who just feels like they can come back and maybe persuade you. And, you know, they feel like they could possibly get that old energy from you, but they're not going to. I don't feel like you're going to give it to them. Nope. We have the Eight of Cups here. The Knight of Pentacles. So this was someone who drugged their feet coming towards you. Maybe if this person would have came back along like a while ago or when it first happened, you guys uh, could have been able to work something out. I don't know, but seeing the seven of wands here, but there is changes coming. You have the wheel of fortune twice. You had it in the message cards and now you have it again. All right, so let's get some more cards here. Give me more messages for our Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the King of Cups. This card almost slid out of my hand. It came outside. It was like this. There's someone, there's a water sign here, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio who's emotionally unstable. Because when I tell you I tried to get control of this card, and it was sort of like spinning. <laughs> it was spinning around in my hand. These cards are a little waxy, though. I don't know. But um, I feel like this person may come back trying to commit after leaving you out in the cold, abandoning you. They may come back being real emotional because they've learned some lessons because the Hierophant is here. Or this was someone who's married, who's getting a divorce. Coming back, offering you love with the Page of Cups and the Judgment. So we do have second chances. Scorpio energy for some of you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but heavy, heavy Scorpio here. Judgment, King of Cups, Page of Cups. Could be a younger water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And you're wondering, like, did this person grow up or, you know, are they still immature? Oh, okay, so we have the sun, the ace of wands. Yeah, there's some re there's reconciliation on the board here. I don't know if you're going to take this person back. You may not. Some of you may still love this person. You may still have feelings for them. But you're just going to be remembering like what they did or what they put you through. I just keep feeling that for you guys. But the sun card here. Yeah, you're something is there's some sort of enlightenment about something here. With a Leo, possibly. With the Six of Cups. Maybe you guys know have known this person for a long time and you're like, you know what? We'll always have love for each other. We'll always be friends. You know, we can be connected, 
but you may feel like I don't want a romance like I don't want intimacy with you anymore because you may not be able to trust this person that may be how you look at the situation okay Sagittarius so those are the messages that I have for your reading thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye